The Bell by Ralph Waldo Emerson, 1803-1882. I love thy music, mellow bell, I love thine iron chime, To life or death, to heaven or hell, Which calls the sons of time. Thy voice upon the deep, the homebound sea boy hails, it charms his cares to sleep, it cheers him as he sails. To house of God and heavenly joys, thy summons called our sires, and good men thought thy sacred voice disarmed the thunder's fire. And soon thy music, sad death bell, Shall lift its notes once more, And mix my requiem with the wind That sweeps my native shore. Okay, so this poem is by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Um, he was born and brought up in uh, Boston, And... Um, he went to Harvard and he became a minister, um, a priest. Um, and then after his w wife died, um, he went to England in 1832 and he became friends with Coleridge and Wordsworth and Carlyle as well. So what's this poem about? Well, this poem is about a bell or it's about bells and the various different um functions of bells and what bells do so let's see i love thy music mellow bell so he's talking to the bell and he's saying i love your music mellow relaxed bell I love thine, your iron chime. So I love the ding, the sound, the iron sound that you make. To life or death, to heaven or hell, which calls the sons of time. So you can have bells for, for life, yeah, that a baby has been born, a baptism. Or you could have bells at, uh, at, uh, for death the tolling of the bell, dong, dong, or the bells calling you to church, to heaven or hell, or maybe for a funeral, which calls the sons of time. I like this phrase, the sons of time, <laughs> because I guess as humans we are sons of time, and the bells also uh, measure time. Yeah, the ringing of a church bell of, of a uh, a church bell tells you what time it is. So the bells tell us what time it is, and we are uh, always worried about the time. Yeah, so bells have an important role to play in our lives. But then he goes to bells in a different way. Thy voice upon the deep. The homebound sea boy hails. So now we're on the deep, we're on the sea. And when the, um, um, the lookout boy, uh, the boy at the top of the mast, sees land, he starts to ring a bell. Land hoy! And they start to ring a bell. Yeah, so this is a moment of great happiness. Yeah, because you can actually see home. And somebody who's been on uh, a long trip at sea. Yeah, so it makes everybody very happy that the ringing of a bell on the ship to say that um, you see land. It charms his cares to sleep. So, yeah, it, it relaxes him, it enchants him, and it relaxes his worries. And... It cheers him as he sails on the homeward um, part, the final part of a journey. And on a, on, a, on a ship, they're always ringing bells to tell you what the time is. 
To house of God and heavenly joys, thy summons called our sires. So this is now talking about the ringing of church bells to say it's time to go to church, to summons, to call some people to a place. And here it's a summons, it's a call to go to church. <coughs> so to, to the house of God, to church and to the joys of heaven, thy summons called our sires. So the sire here is the father, but here our sires, our forefathers. So here he's saying that bells have been used by churches to call people to worship for a very long time for our forefathers and their fathers before them. And good men thought thy sacred voice disarmed the thunder's fires. So this now goes even further back. And there was a time when people used to ring bells to um, stop the thunder and lightning, to calm it or to frighten it away. And this was a belief even further back. So the voice of the bell, thy sacred voice, I like this little bit of personification of the bell. Um, so good, good people, cl people thought that the holy voice of the bell would disarm, would um, calm the thunder's fire. So the flashes of thunder and the booming of the lightning. And soon thy music, sad death bell, shall lift its notes once more. So now he's talking about this uh, uh, tolling of the bell for death. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so, so uh, once again, the, um, the bell of death, the bell signifying that someone's died or people have died, shall lift its notes, will sound once more. And mix my requiem with the wind that sweeps my native shore. So notice this here, that sweeps my native shore. This is talking about various deaths or various people dying um, in his local area. So um, he's w waiting for uh, the bells to once again sound um, that, that there have been deaths. And the bells will mix my requiem. So a requiem is a song that you sing for the dead. Yeah, and the sound of the bells will be mixed with my requiem, my songs for the dead, and with the wind. Um, and here, this it, it doesn't say what's happened or what's going to happen, but um, he thinks that uh, something bad is going to happen or maybe has already happened in his local area. And also, I'm thinking, mix my requiem. Uh, this is also referring to his own death, that one day the uh, death bell will ring for him. Yeah, and uh, well, it, this is the idea of the bells. So, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. The Bell by Ralph Waldo Emerson